everybody, welcome back to Stan's Garage, bringing you everything you need to know for effective business IT management. Today, we're gonna to talk about Microsoft's announcement to disable basic authentication. Wow, what do you think that is? Wait a minute, who are you? So today I wanna to talk to you a little bit about Microsoft's announcement to disable basic authentication in email on their Microsoft 365 platform. Coming up in October, 2022, Microsoft will be turning off basic auth in an effort to protect millions of exchange online users. Basic authentication is a legacy standardized way of sending your username and password. Like the name suggests, it is the very basic method of implementing usernames and passwords does not include general encryption or high level security. And in today's age of constant cybersecurity threats, that's simply not going to fly and Microsoft is shutting it down. It's actually accelerated that for a number of people, but we'll get into that later. Following the COVID-19 outbreak, Microsoft had to delay the removal of basic auth from Exchange Online and the new target date is October 1st, 2020. Too, but any of us who Microsoft know that that can easily get pushed. But we're already seeing Microsoft removing basic ops for several accounts. We're not using it uh, as early as this month. They basically put that in the warning. They said, we're gonna be turning it off selective users that do have those turned off though. They can contact Microsoft and pretty much be like, can you please turn it on? Wait a few days and it does come back on if you really need it. On the other hand, if you are an Exchange Online user, and you do want to get rid of basic auth before Microsoft plans to, you certainly can. In order to disable basic auth, you'll have to create and assign authentication policies to users using the steps listed on the Exchange Online support page. And that's uh, there's a link to that in the show notes below. Take a look there if you're interested. When well, Microsoft originally made this announcement two years ago, they made us aware that by disabling basic authentication, you'll be required to use modern authentication with a uh, two-factor authentication enabled on top of it. Now, in my opinion, multi-factor authentication is one of the best things you can do for your account security. To note, this removal of basic auth will only impact Exchange Online, not Exchange on-prem products. You know, if you run those things yourself, you can leave them insecure if you feel so inclined. So why is Microsoft disabling basic auth? While well, Microsoft did not come right out and explain why they made the decision to disable basic auth this year in particular, we can speculate it was probably motivated by the Gardecore report, which details the hundreds of thousands of Windows domain credentials being leaked due to misconfigured basic auth in emails. <laughs> Are you serious? Right, people can sniff that traffic and find your usernames and passwords. The reporting disclosed an attack called the old switcheroo, which focuses on exchange clients uh, to negotiate in basic auth. Basic authentication, also known as proxy authentication, is an HTTP-based authentication method that allows apps to communicate username and password combinations that are frequently kept locally on the device along with every connection request they make to servers, endpoints, or online services. Basic authentication, while it makes it simpler, it does bypass that 2FA that can keep you much more secure. When connections are not encrypted using SSL or TLS, it also makes it easier for attackers to get those leaked. Now, even worse, because basic auth doesn't basically doesn't have MFA or you have to use an app password in exchange. Uh, it bypasses quite a bit. Apps that will now utilize OAuth access token with a limited lifetime and will re-authenticate on other services provided, that creates the new layer of security that Microsoft wants to see its clients utilize. And after modern auth is enforced, it will be simpler to enable and enforce MFA, which will directly and immediately increase your security in your MS Exchange Online. Uh, it's all good things just to keep you more safe. I know it could be a hassle. This is actually for your own good and we'll keep you aware of anything new that comes out of it. 
So in any case, I'd love to hear what you think about this. Are you gonna switch to Modern Auth before October? Maybe you already are only using secure application. One of the things you might wanna keep an eye out for is some of those third-party plugins that you use or third-party SaaS applications that you use to send email using your Office 365 credentials. Those might be using basic auth and they're just gonna turn off on you one day. We've already seen it happen to a few clients. But anyway, love to hear your thoughts in the comments below. If you have questions about this or want help making sure that your MS365 instances are only using modern authentication, feel free to schedule with me in the calendar link below. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe, and I will catch you on the next one.